of you may know, I recently decided to install a second hard disk into my MacBook Pro. So I'm running with a dual drive setup. Um, to do this, I took out the super drive out of my MacBook Pro. So yes, it can't read CDs, but I did get an external enclosure for that super drive. And I believe we made a video of that. And so today I'm just going to be talking about the speeds of my new SSD and how it works with those two drives. And I, the SSD I picked up was on Amazon. It was deal of the day on Gizmodo, I believe. A super good deal. 240 gigabyte SanDisk SSD for $170. I think 160 something like that and the enclosure I'll include links to both in the description so let's go and run a speed test and first here I'm just gonna write to I believe it's gonna default to my oh no it's testing the SSD And I have gotten quite a bit higher, I don't know. It just kind of varies, but... And here, I'll just give you a little comparison. So here we have the other drive, and now I'm just going to show you, this is my standard 500 gigabyte drive that was included in the MacBook Pro. So that's the speed test. Um, real world usage of this SSD and the dual drive setup is, I did notice apps do boot ridiculously fast. Um, here we can go boot up Photoshop. I think I do have like a bunch of patterns, brushes, and text so it takes a little bit longer than let's say like Premiere. And even I have noticed, let's see, like startup times and even I wasn't um, like shutdown times too whenever I'm turning off my computer sometimes it takes a little bit but with the SSD it just it's almost instant so that's super nice uh, apps just I'm on a slow internet connection right now but I have noticed just a general speed bump in everything I do it's nice to have and I do have a lot of extra storage and so the way I set them up was I, I decided to put the SSD in the main disk bay where the old hard drive was. And then I took my original hard drive and put that where the super drive was. So the reason behind this was because the SSD on the model of MacBook Pro I have, which is the early 2011 15 inch the SSD can't achieve the full speeds when it's mounted in that CD drive bay. So I believe the only MacBook Pro is that, but I would recommend picking up a SSD. I did manage to get all this, including shipping for under $200, so it was a really good deal. And I'm glad I pulled the trigger and picked one up. It, I believe it will add a lot of value to my MacBook Pro when I decide to sell it when that time comes and if you guys any, have any questions about what I did or etc please just leave them in the comments thanks for watching